Hey, it's here 9 and welcome to the second part of my invasion deconstruction tutorial. Today we will talk a little bit about the arrangement of my track, how I arrange uh, my tracks and how it works, uh, what structures you can use and what's usually like a good idea and maybe what's not. So let's get started. Okay, you can already see like these markers here and uh, that's like a kind of uh, basic idea to check uh, where I want to have which elements and of course we have a like intro where you like slowly build up the track it's usually mostly for DJs so that they can easily mix in your track and um, then you get to the first drop and build up the first drop to the like first climax and drop it into the uh, second break and uh, usually I have uh, like longer second break and the first break is kind of like a mini break or just 8 to 16 uh, bars long and uh, the second break is like uh, maybe uh, 24 or 32 bars long and then we go to the second drop um and in most of my tracks i have a like of second second drop um where i build the tension even up a little bit more and then in the second uh, part of the second drop uh, we have every element playing and it's like really thick and in your face and yeah then we have of course the outro uh, which is uh, useful for djs uh, to mix into the next track and yeah okay so uh let's just check it out how it works um for example here we just uh, take a look at the drums usually uh, in the beginning you have like a simple uh, pattern going just a kick or maybe uh, some heads in this case uh, we have some uh, closed heads and shakers in the beginning uh, together with the kick playing Also, you notice uh, that the bass is cut uh, in the first uh, 16 bars, so that it's even easier to DJ uh, just to like beat match and mix in um, from their uh, first track. Okay, um, and then over time you try to uh, evolve the track, so you add more of the elements uh, you made in the uh, idea part. Um, and for example, here over time, we just add uh, more and more layers. So here we have a like open head coming in and then next we have the clap and snare coming in and some uh, rhythmic elements. Um, so you build up the tension and then here in the first part, uh, we drop it uh, before the first drop and um, start kind of like with less tension in the first drop so that we can build it up again and um, in techno it's like really important because the tracks are um, compared to other genres uh, actually quite long and uh, techno is a like more kind of repetitive genre where we have the same uh, sounds and loops playing uh, over and just they change a little bit and stuff gets uh, added or removed and so it's really important um, to like uh, add stuff or remove stuff over time to keep the track interesting. And we can just here go over the section a little bit. For example, here the, comes in the, the head, then some claps and right. Here the, the, another clap comes in. And then we just drop everything to like push it a little bit down before the uh, first drop and just have a snare roll going and then we drop it uh, into the first drop and remove all the sounds so that like it starts off a little bit more deep and then we start to add stuff again uh, to keep things going and the same uh, for the lead sounds uh, here you can see in the beginning we just have like the basic pad sound and it's even here called one note because it's just playing the root note um, and the other notes like the chords here um, are deactivated so that in the beginning of the track it's not too overwhelming and like more in the background. So it's just like an atmosphere and it like it sets the vibe of the track. 
and um, everything together sounds uh, like this so we start very minimal then here the bass comes in and then the track progresses Here you can see also that uh, like the strings come in and they like really like give it a bit more like melodic and epic feel and then we uh, just uh, remove the tension and drop it into the first drop. that um, until like the uh, first half of the first drop uh, there's no acid bass line the acid bass line just comes slowly in and then at the end of the first drop uh, you can uh, hear it uh, completely and it's so it's just like, like kind of a preview what maybe happens in the second drop Here we have the second break, so here we kind of drop like all drum sounds, no kick, no heads, and like it's here it really you strip it down to like the only melodic stuff. And uh, here we have uh, like kind of vocal, but it's more like a FX vocal. And, uh, and then we really drop it here um, and drop all the elements and try to start again to build it up. Um, to the second drop. Here you can uh, clearly hear that the acid bass line is like progressing throughout the break. In the first beginning it's very quiet and like uh, not that aggressive and then over time it gets even more and more present and aggressive and uh, then we drop it into the second drop. So it's like really important uh, to build up tension from the start of the break to the end of the break. Um, to like catch the listener and uh, they have to stand like on a dance floor and waiting for the drop and everybody's like okay yeah uh, when the bass drops again and um, you can use the elements you have for especially like the background stuff in the strings um, for example use some automation on the volume of the strings to like build it up here uh, so that really adds a lot of tension and uh, yeah you can use of course stuff like snare rolls and uh, yeah for example here I also like fade in the snare roll and to build even more tension and then we get into the second drop and on the beginning of the second drop here the main element is of course the acid bass line so the arpeggio is like more in the background Here that it's like slowly comes back in and that's uh, really like important that you think about uh, your track how you want to progress over time uh, you have your elements uh, which you made in your id and now you have to use it like so that it makes sense altogether you have to think like about like people always told me yeah you have to tell a story with the track and first i was like okay uh, how I tell a story with my tracks and but um, over time yeah it made more and more sense and now I kind of understand what they uh, meant and uh, you really have to think about okay where do I start and where do I want to end and then you have to think how you can use your elements that you have 
uh, to get to this goal. And uh, here in this part, I wanted to have um, the assets uh, as the like main big element in the beginning of the second drop. And then I will slowly introduce um, the arpeggio sound back again. And uh, here I have a little uh, kind of uh, transition part um, where uh, it's, it's like another build up inside the drop and it builds up some tension again and then in the second part of the second drop we have like all elements playing you can see here like all drums are playing and all the uh, lead sounds are playing and yeah we have like the big climax and the most um, energetic and epic part of the track and here you can just check it out And here you can see that's really the climax of the track where everything plays and uh, yeah you can also see that like the string sounds add a lot of tension and yeah like it's that big epic feel and yeah and then of course uh, we start to drop and remove sounds um, to reduce the energy and uh, get into the outro That's usually how I do it and especially in the last uh, 16 bars of the track um, it's a good idea to have uh, no melodic elements playing or very little uh, especially not melodies because um, if you mix the track uh, into another track um, and the other track has a different key then it can get uh, problematic and sound very bad um, so it's usually a good idea in the last, uh, at least minimum in the last 16 bars of your track, no melodic elements or no melodies and maybe just a root note, for example, here in this patch, just a root note. And also you can make uh, like longer outros, like uh, 32 bars with no uh, melodic elements. That's also uh, good. And just give the DJs the uh, possibility to make a easy transition without clashing elements uh, in in the both tracks um yeah okay and uh, so that's kind of the arrangement uh, what i did and usually uh, if you have no picture of the track you want to make you can also like cheat a little bit and uh, use uh, professional tracks uh, which you really like and just drop them into your door and just see how they made it yeah uh, when which element comes in and how the track progresses when they start to remove elements when they start to add elements and then you can just uh, get an idea how they do it and uh, then yeah you don't have to copy it but you can just try to get ideas from it and uh, make your own arrangement but usually the arrangement i do is like make an intro um then a very uh, like a short break 8 to 16 bars uh, just to uh, drop the energy a little bit and then uh, go to the first drop and uh, then the second break is a little bit longer and um, in some genres of techno you can also make it uh, like one and a half minutes but i usually keep it around uh, not longer than around one minute because uh, especially like this um, dance music um, it can get a little bit boring if the like there's no bass no kick uh, for a long time then people get bored on the dance floor so that's why i just uh, I try to keep it um, in a, a range where it's acceptable for the people on the dance floor and then of course back to the second drop and uh, the second drop is usually a little bit more energetic than the first drop so uh, don't drop all the elements you have in the first drop because uh, the problem is then uh, you have nothing more to give in the second drop so the people have already heard all elements and it's like okay yeah 
I know how the track sounds and nothing uh, special happens in the second drop. So don't uh, just drop all the sounds in your first drop. Keep something um, for the second drop where you can add a little bit more energy and it can be everything. It can be drums, for example, or that you just uh, add uh, some rides or uh, shakers in the second drop or in this case for example i had these like two main elements the arpeggio and um, the acid bass line uh, so my approach was to like use the uh, arpeggio for the first part of the track and then like uh, slowly introduce or preview the the acid bass line and then in the second part of the drop um, or in the second part of the track you can really like drop all the elements and make it really big and powerful and um, usually that's the structure which also makes sense for the people um, if you like compare it with with a movie um, the movie also slowly builds up the tension and it's not like the movie starts and yeah everything the, all the crazy stuff happens in the first five minutes so you have to like tell the story uh, you make like have to uh, evolve over time and uh, that's basically how it's also done in music uh yeah okay um i hope everything is clear and uh, in the next uh, section uh, we will uh, go over all the individual sounds so you can uh, just hear how they sound how they work together and yeah so see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.